right, everybody. Hello and welcome. I did my classic all right, everybody. I guess that's how I'm going to start my videos. I accept it. But we are playing my uh, one of my favorite games. It's Diddy Kong Racing. This game was my very first N64 game. Uh, my parents had a surprise planned for me. And I got an N64 for Christmas of 1997. And they put my stepdad's name on a piece of tape over the Santa Claus sticker to me. So I opened all my presents. And my lazy ass uncle is dead asleep on the couch. He's like freshly 21 at that point. He went out the night before, I'm sure. And he looks, he sees most of my presents open, and he pulls it out from, he's laying belly on the couch, pulls out Diddy Kong Racing unwrapped, and he's like, here you go, buddy. And I'm like, I don't have an N64, you asshole. Why would you even give me this? And then my mom freaks out, and she's like, Kelly, go tell him to grab it. It's my stepdad's name. Fucking grabs the big box. They make me take it over to him. I know what it is. I, at that point, I know. I know the jig. He pulls off the piece of tape. What? It's not for me. It's for Chris. I tear it open. My performance destroys N64 Kid. I could have been on Tosh if that shit would have got leaked. If that shit would have gone on the internet ten years ago, I would have been on Daniel Tosh. Whatever. No big deal. Not jealous. I hold no ill will towards that kid. So long story short, we're playing Diddy Kong Race. I'm Diddy. I am a sucker for the main character, um, especially in this era of video game, because uh, uh, here's my failed file. I uh, DID, that was my uh, first name on my first file, because I love main characters so much, I wanted to name it Diddy, and I didn't use my own initials. So we're gonna, we're just gonna do F U K. Because we're super mature. So the premise of this game, you're you're on Whiz Pigs. Oh no, I'm sorry, you're on Timber's parents' island. Timber is one of the playable characters, he's the tiger. But it doesn't really look like Timber's Island because I mean look at that like statue of Whiz Pig right there. He's got fucking smoke blowing out of his nostrils. I mean, it looks like a very peaceful place, but I, I don't I, I see no signs of tiger ownership here, you know. Oh, but they do have Taj the genie. Hello, bub. Hey, bub. Yeah. This was the first um, stereotypical racist character I ever saw. And don't get me wrong. I am not, like, super uptight about that kind of thing. I, I like characters of different cultures um, even if the performance is a little hammed up but uh, I digress I don't even want to get into anything like that holy shit we have the first thing you want to do in this game is get the plane don't even accelerate you just need to get that plane because you need to get some balloons right off the bat balloons are equivalent to stars in Mario 64 so we're getting this first one right here that opened up the door for me. But I'm not gonna go do that yet. Sorry, I'm playing this on an Xbox controller, not a uh, N64 controller, it's weird. But yeah, let's let's get some balloons because uh, it's nice to have a little buffer to unlock racetracks. And if y'all care, uh, the structure of this series, it might run a little bit long, but I, I'm gonna experiment with doing a uh, an entire world an entire world per video I know Dino Domain will be fairly easy to pull off okay I'm pretty sure there's five balloons you can get in the overworld but I'm a little rusty on where they're at right now. I say that in every video. One time, I'm going to practice a video before I do it. 
That is not today, though. We might as well just get into Ancient Lake. A four balloon buffer is perfect. All right, here we are. We are in uh, the hub world of Dino Domain. Every world has a little uh, lobby. That's the best way to put it. Lobby like this. Oh, shit. I got TT. Uh, fun fact. Uh, Tony Tracy is a Pickerington, Ohio man. He is, during this game, trapped in the body of a clock. And the only thing that he can hear in his head is this song. You hear it? This man, he looks calm right there with his little droopy ass, like, hand nose. But, uh, this man is insane. Tony Tracy is stuck in this clock until you beat Wizpig. It's a curse. A a poor guy. I, I tell you, man. He has it rough. He got picked on and banned. Ugh. I just feel for the boy. But anyway, we're in this lobby. Every world has a lobby. So we got Dino Domain. Um. <laughs> I, I apologize. I'm rusty on this. Uh, we have the beach level. We've got the winter level. We have the, I guess, medieval, dragonish level, and then the secret space level. We're just gonna uh, go right in here. Fuck, I'm already at six minutes, but you know what? We're gonna we're gonna do at least all of the first runs on this. So with this game, right before go is when you want to hit the gas to get that boost. Didn't get it. Hell of a start. See that key there? That'll be important later. But for now, we're just focusing on the race mechanics. Um, I have a boost item right here. And that is from the blue balloon. The red balloons give you uh, missiles. Now, the cool thing about Diddy Kong Racing is you can stack your items. So now I have two blue balloons. I've got a double boost that see how powerful it is so look how far ahead I am of these guys I guess I might as well now I'll save the key for when we need it but I'll explain how the boost actually works not just like the item pickup but these little zip lines that you go over right here to get boost see how my boost was purple and I didn't go as far that's because I'm still holding the gas right so when you go over it if I let go I get that green boost that goes super fast. So anytime you boost, even if you have the item for boosting, let go of the gas for a second. Pull that trigger, and you're going to get the green boost that sends you twice as far. Definitely, you need to get familiar with that right off the bat. That's how you can beat this game. After every level, you get your own little balloon. Mr. Taj brings them up to you. Very ceremonial, majestic. I like it a lot. I like to do it in order. So Fossil Canyon's next. Go ahead and do this one. Now something I didn't get to touch on on the last race. And like in Mario Kart 8, you have your coins. There, I got it. Blue is the best one you can get right out the gate. But uh, bananas are crucial in this game. Like when you get 10 is the maximum amount of bananas, when you get 10, you really do go a lot faster. Uh, it's not obvious when you uh, are just racing. It's pretty passive. It builds up gradually. But when you're doing time trials and stuff to like unlock TT as a character, poor Tony Tracy, that boy. Uh, when you're doing time trials, if you don't have a stockpile of bananas, your time suffer. It really makes a difference. So grab all the bananas you can. I think 10 is where it maxes out, but you can collect more. I'll, I'll do some research on that for episode two. But yeah, uh, the item I have now, the green balloon, it's an oil spill. It's like a little slick, like a banana in Mario Kart. Now I have a mine. So if I lay this here, somebody hits that, they take a, they take a very time demanding hit. They're pretty easy to avoid, though. Uh, typically in this game, I, uh, I'm, n I'm not really worried about anything except for boosts. Because I'm pretty confident in my driving ability as I hit a wall. Every time I brag. Every fucking time I brag on YouTube. 
Regardless, I'm pretty confident in my driving ability in this game. I want my friends to get better at it so we can play it, because every time I play, everybody's like, I'm not even having fun. I know, I'm... <laughs> See? When I have a curse, when I brag on YouTube, I get fucked. But no, when I'm in the zone, like, competitive on this one, I go nuts. So, I'm, I'm referring this to my friends to learn a thing or two, and maybe we can have some competitive battles. So I'm getting my balloon. We are halfway through the first run of Dino Domain. Each world has four races. Jungle Falls is one of my favorite levels in the game. I vastly prefer the cart. I'm a cart guy. Plane is second, Hovercraft is an easy third. The bourbon is getting to me, guys. That's why I'm, my reflexes are off on getting them. I mean, alright, I make a lot of excuses on YouTube. I'm just trying to justify myself to you guys. Don't think for a minute that I don't know when I suck. I am not trying to, like, deflect blame. I'm a fuckboy when it comes down to it, so... Call me what you want in the comment section. I would prefer, like, positive comments, but if the only engagement I get is... You're a piece of shit. I'll be so happy. Talk with me about all these games. I just want... I, I don't want fans. I just want friends to uh, talk retro games with. You know what I'm saying? Alright, lap three already. Something I haven't talked about in this game. The music. Love it. Uh, David Wise, the composer of the Donkey Kong Country games. Uh, he did a little bit in three. Not all of it, but he does all of this game and all of Donkey Kong Country 1 and 2, to my knowledge. Uh, he composes here, and I think he really hits his stride. It's just good stuff all around. Nostalgia is a hell of a drug. It has a lot to do with it, but... Good shit either way. Alright, Taj. Uh, I, like, I like the cutscenes, but we're about to skip. We're going to get our first plane level. Top Top Volcano, and I'm, I might let the commentary take a back seat to just kind of destroy this level. Alright, I keep missing the boost, but whatever. I wanted to get some nanners there, I missed them. We'll be back to Dino Domain. Uh, just simply getting first in every race is only the beginning of this game. We'll have to come back and get some silver coins after we beat a boss. And what I'm going to do is just uh, run through each world the first time and make that one video. And then we'll do it again for the second time. And getting the silver coins can actually be pretty tricky, but I have uh, played this enough in modern times to not really sweat it too much. Alright. So if you uh, the hit R on the N64 controller, you can kind of, you don't drift like in Mario Kart. I mean, you, you do drift and in the air you take like inside cuts. You don't get a boost from it. Aww. Still lapped him though. But yeah, you don't, you don't work up that boost through your drifts. You just kind of take like, I don't know, a more optimal route. Which I kind of like. I don't know. I think that this game takes a little bit more skill than Mario Kart. But that's just me. Huge fan of Mario Kart 2. I think uh, my first video on Mario Kart will probably be Double Dash. It's, it's a toss-up between Double Dash and Mario Kart 8 for me. But here we are. First boss. Uh, it, the adventure in this game. Rare is so good at making a single-player experience. And this is a kart game. 
But we're about to fight Tricky the Citer the <laughs> the Triceratops. I love the voices in Mighty Kong Racing. I can't wait till we get to the Walrus. I'm gonna be dying. His voice. Danny Collins, you know what I'm talking about. So you gotta get the boost here. He'll flatten you too. Ah oh, shit. I'll be alright. I might lose. Alright, so I'm gonna try to take the inside. Those boulders are gonna flatten you. For sure. Get that boost. So pretty much with Tricky, if you can hold the lead without hitting anything and drive semi-smart, once you get in front, you're good. Uh, when you rematch the bosses after you get the silver coins on every level, that's a different story. Uh, you're on your own, because uh, they're hard. They're very hard. I'm just going to play it safe here. I'm not going to be flashy in any way. Like I said, that bourbon. Now, I might have to start drifting. Yeah, here we go. Nice and easy. I would have never done this when I was a kid. Thought drift. Oh, yeah, that's why. Oh, I saw oh no, no. Sixteen minutes. Damn, that would have been a perfect ending. Hey, I am all for showing my failures on the YouTube, and I missed the boost. But they they kind of they account for you being a rookie at this point. They get you two red balloons in a row. Once you get two red balloons, instead of just a random missile, you get a, the equivalent of a red shell. Fire that, it'll home in on him. He'll get it. Get the boost. Alright, I'm not too far behind him now. I'm close enough where I should be able to hit him. Alright. Now, once you do hit him, if you're that close, steer away from him because he will stomp on you and you'll get flat. You don't want that happening. I, did, did I learn my lesson or not? Let's just be safe. There is no need to show off. You guys know that I suck at video games. I know I suck at video games. There's no justification. Let's take it nice and easy, nice and slow. Slow and steady wins the race, as they say. So we'll go up this mountain here. I would assume a precursor to Spiral Mountain from Banjo Kazooie, to be honest. The higher up you get, it gets like pretty fucking tight. And I don't say that in the outdated early 2000s term of cool. I mean, it, it, it is tight corners. Here we go, man. Tricky dead. And trust me, for Dino Domain, that's going to be easy, but on the later levels, it, it's pretty tricky. Try pressing brake when skinning. That will be very important in the future world. But that is Dino Domain Round 1. Uh, I can't wait to finish this one up with you guys. It's going to be a great time. But for now, uh, we're going to call it a night. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Let me know how I'm doing. Um, I know it's not the best. There's a million other things you could be watching on YouTube right now, but I, I really want to uh, I really want to have fun with some people that like these kind of games. So if you stumble upon this, um, hey, you're getting in early, I guess, right? So have a great rest of your night, guys, and uh, I appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time.